Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scroller. Today we're going to finally be doing real combat. I'm actually just going to do it while I try to explain it. So today's video might be a little longer, but you might see as well me making some mistakes and fixing them. So I first I edit this library. I'm using the system.collection.generic because I would like to use a list. And I make this list here in combat. I made it a list of transforms, enemies in range, which every time we attack, we're going to see which enemies are in the range of our attack. And we're going to attack on those enemies. So we made a void function, get enemies in range. And we are going to uh, use the... Um, we can use a physics function called overlap sphere and we can set the position of that overlap sphere to be in front of our player because if we use uh, like distance or some other function like that we'll get the enemies in front of us but we also get the enemies in in our back so we will have to check for those enemies in the back if they're in the back we will not attack those and that will be a little bit more complicated so i want to get the, use the approach of using the overlap sphere so just physics dot overlap and we have overlap box we have overlap capsule i didn't know that <laughs> and we have an overlap sphere and i think overlap sphere is going to be uh, the best choice here it's just going to use a radius and a position so we go with that so what this does is it will return as you can see here it's going to return a array of colliders to us and we're going to get the ones that are enemies so i'm going to do the following physics overlap sphere transform dot position plus transform dot forward because we want it to point at the front of our character if we see our character right now where's our character here's our character i select the player you see the blue axis, that means the forward axis, is pointing uh, toward the mummy. I think the, the range should be something like one unit in front of us. If I bring our measuring box that we made in the first lesson, or in the first episode, this is one unit distance. So if we have to select all the enemies within this box, what we have to do is... 0.5 units to the left or i mean to the right and then the radius should be 0.5 so it's 0.5 to the left of that point and 0.5 to the right of that point and all around it okay so when we attack it should be something like this there is our where is our player pivot yeah so it should be something like this area so i'm going to move my measuring cube and I'm going to keep writing my function. So transform dot position plus transform dot forward times 0 0.5. This is going to be the position of the center of our sphere. And if you don't understand what overlap sphere does, it, we just give a position and a radius to generate a sphere, and we will see all the colliders that are within that sphere in this frame. And that's how we're going to check which enemies are in range. So the radius is also going to be 0.5f. Remember to add your f or you'll get a compile error. And yeah, that's it. But what we want to do with this is not actually just call this because otherwise we're doing nothing. We want to get the enemies from all these colliders and assign it to our list enemies in range. So here I'm going to use a for each loop. And what we're going to do is just type for each and then we can we know we're going to get a collider so we're going to type collider c in and because this is an array we can treat this as an array um, for each collider c in this array of colliders we're going to do the following if c dot game object dot compare tag so we use compare tag to save resources as well compare tag is much faster than doing the string string comparison so usually what people do would be like if game object c dot game object dot tag equals 
enemy or something like that, if this uses much more resources than doing c.gameobject.compare tag. So there is an optimizing tip for you guys. <laughs> uh, so c.gameobject.compare tag and we supply the tag we want to compare. So in this case, it's going to be enemy. So if the collider is actually an enemy, we are going to add it to the list. Enemies in range .add C dot transform. Okay, so we add that collider's transform to our list of enemies in range. So we get this first, and then we are going to attack those guys. So <laughs> here in attack routine, we should we set the, the animation, and we can have the attack under here. So we can do the following for each. We are also going to use it for each because we have many enemies, multiple enemies in the list. For each uh, transform, we're going to call enemy in enemies in range. For each enemy in our enemies in range list, we are going to enemy controller ec equals enemy dot get component enemy controller. So if the if the enemy didn't have an enemy controller, we are going to continue. If EC equals no, then continue. Okay. And here we don't use return because if we return, we're going to return and quit the whole function. We just want to continue to go to the next loop of this for each loop. Okay. So continue. And if it was not no, then we didn't continue. So we can keep running our function that means we want ec dot get hit and that should call the function get hit on our enemy so i think do we have any parameters here no nope, not yet we need to supply the attack damage and any armor penetration and all the other stats but we're going to do that in the future so let me try this uh first i need to change the tag of my mummy to enemy so we will add that tag right now here new tag and not render me but and then oh crap here enemy we added the tag but i didn't assign it to the mummy uh here enemy and also our little mummy i added to the rig no that's wrong here enemy i want this to be intact and our mummy does not have a collider, so we're going to add a collider to it right now. Capsule collider we do. Um, <laughs> so small. Okay, uh, so I'm going to center it 0.5, make the right radius 0 0.2, 0 0.3, something like this. And the height maybe is 0.8, and this will be 0.4 something like that there is our little mummy <laughs> okay so the collider fits quite well and now I'm going to try this so let's go forward and and I'm silly because we didn't put the uh, get enemies in range we need we didn't call it so before we do this we need to get our enemies in range so get enemies in range we set the animation to attack we get the enemies in range and for each enemy in the enemies in range we're going to make them get hit let's see if it works we play this let's go to battle Doo -doo -doo -doo. okay yeah it worked yeah actually it worked in the first try so now we can actually start, uh, let's take down its health. I really want to kill this guy, so let's take down its health. Uh, let's go to enemy controller and here, besides setting the animation to get hit, we're going to just randomly do, for example, current health. Okay, so here in get hit, we're going to make this um, float and D I'm going to call it DMG or maybe damage okay so how much damage we want to give to the mummy 
and current health is going to be minus equal to damage so we're going to subtract this from this and total health is going to be something we set in the inspector so here in start what I'm going to do is set the current health as the total health okay so we're going to be seeing this in the inspector so I'm just gonna leave this public and I'm going to do the following mommy is going to have like I don't know like 50 health and our player is going to have something like 9 attack so where's the attack damage here 9 and we have an error oh the error is yeah we didn't set how much damage we want to attack with so here get hit attack damage there you go so now we should be sub subtracting around nine hit points from our mummy every time we attack it so let's try this now i'm very excited guys let's go Whoa -ho -ho. hey mommy you want to fight there you go and then there, there's our current health went down to 41 23 and it died okay we have to fix that but nine, right now we're actually dealing damage to our mummy and that's amazing so <laughs> thank you very much guys for watching i really enjoyed making this episode we finally got attack actually going on here uh so if we stand here okay right now we can still attack him because we got our enemies in range but then we didn't remove the enemies from our list so that's something we want to do on the next episode uh, if i go over here and I just do this it's nothing is happening but if I look at the guy I'm still not in range not in range and there you go so <laughs> this is great we're going to fix all these minor errors in the next episode but for now thanks for watching I'll see you in the next time please remember to like this video and subscribe if you haven't bye